Hi everyone, this is Chef. In about a week, we'll be having a beta for the upcoming World vs. World restructuring system. This beta will run from January 12th until February 2nd, and ArenaNet has said that they intend for this beta to be the last one before the restructuring system goes live full time. Now that doesn't mean it will be the last beta. Sometimes things break in unexpected ways and need additional development time. But at this point, world restructuring appears to be imminent, and I wanted to make a video that covers the basic history of this system, what it does and does not do, and how it's going to change the way that world vs. world works going forwards. At the end of the video, I'll also cover the steps that you need to take to continue playing with your friends before the start of the beta, as well as some general approaches to creating or joining communities that take advantage of this new system. First, a bit of history. Restructuring was first announced in January of 2018, but because of internal studio realignments and reprioritizations, the system didn't actually receive a development focus for almost four years, with the first beta event for the system beginning on September 24th, 2021. The goal of the world restructuring system is to balance activity across all servers, creating more dynamic and active matchups. People often refer to this entire system as alliances, but to be specific, Alliances were originally proposed as a specific component of the overall restructuring system. Alliances in particular refer to the ability of multiple guilds to join together and ensure that they're all placed on the same team for a given matchup. Every beta that we've received so far has been for the ability of the restructuring system to generate and then dynamically populate servers, and to date there hasn't been any beta for the alliances system of forming these partnerships between guilds. In fact, ArenaNet is in the process of re-evaluating the specifics of how the alliances system will work in general, as they currently have a very similar function to guilds and don't add much new to the system. As a temporary fix, groups of multiple guilds that want to work together during restructuring betas and in the eventual restructuring system will create a new guild, invite everybody from their other guilds that want to participate, and then set that guild as the world versus world guild to represent during a beta test. Until ArenaNet provides more details on how alliances will work specifically, this is the best workaround available for groups of players from different guilds and communities that want to continue to play together for the restructuring system. As for what restructuring will change, under the current system, you play World vs. World with people who are on your server, or on the server that you're linked to. These links change every four weeks, and players can transfer in between servers by paying gems in order to play with different people on different servers. The activity of these servers is not explicitly balanced by ArenaNet. Instead, certain servers tend to create informal communities of players from particular time zones. For example, on North American servers, Sea of Sorrows and Jade Quarry have a reputation as servers with a strong presence in Southeast Asian time zones, while Northern Shiver Peaks and Tarnished Coast tend to have more people active during late Pacific Standard Time hours. Restructuring replaces this server-based system by dynamically populating different servers based on a matchmaking algorithm. ArenaNet hasn't discussed the specifics of this algorithm, but we do know that it at least includes time zones and commander activity, as well as a number of different factors. The goal of the world restructuring system is to create more parity within world vs. world matchups by balancing overall activity across these different servers, instead of having some servers be stacked and others be relatively quiet. In my opinion, the reason that we've had so many restructuring betas is because ArenaNet has been testing these different permutations of the matchmaking system in order to determine which one works best overall. As part of the restructuring system, you'll need to select a guild that you want to represent for World vs. World. This setting controls how players within a guild are distributed as part of the restructuring algorithm. You and everyone else in the World vs. World guild that you represent will be sorted into the same server but which server that is, and what other guilds are on that server with you, will change every four weeks during the relink process. As a result of this system, you will no longer need to server transfer to play with different guilds on other servers. Instead, by changing the world versus world guild that you choose to represent, or not representing any guild at all, you'll be placed into a separate matchup at the start of the next four week period. This also means that the people on your server, and the people who you play against on enemy servers, will also get shuffled every month, and you may find yourself fighting against old allies from a previous server, or fighting alongside bitter rivals on the same team. This is easily the part of the restructuring system that I'm the most excited about, as the siloed nature of individual world versus world servers makes it difficult to recruit and train new players, meet new people, play with new guilds, 
follow different commanders, and experience different ways that people approach the game mode overall. That covers what the restructuring system is and how it should work going forward. So here at the end of the video, let's talk about how you and the people who you like to play with can continue to have fun during this beta and after the system goes live. There's two different groups of players that I want to mention here. The first is solo players who like spending time with other people who they've met on their server, but don't share a single mutual guild. And the second is a group of players who are already in a guild, but are thinking about forming an alliance with one or more different guilds. For solo players, the best solution to continuing to play with your friends is to make a new guild, select it as your world versus world guild, and invite any other players who you want to continue to play with. This will allow you to be sorted into the same matchup as your friends, and while it's not a perfect solution to existing server-based communities, it is a decent fix. If there's more than one community that you want to be a part of, you can alternate what guild you represent for each of the four week periods of a matchup. For guilds of players looking to construct an alliance and build partnerships, my best advice would be to find guilds that meet at least one of the following criteria. First, they're either larger or smaller than your guild is. This lets you work together with them to fight groups that are too big to handle alone, or break off to fight groups that are too small to be competitive. Second, they don't run on the same days as your guild does. This lets players who are online during your own guild's off nights have another tag to follow, so that they can play world versus world with other people. Third, they don't play the same hours that your guild does. This balances your alliance's time zone coverage, and like the second criteria, gives people in your guild playing during non-raid hours something to do and other tags to follow. The best way to find guilds that are interested in forming alliances is to ask around and see who else is looking. But if you're not sure where to go or who to ask, I'd be happy to be a resource for that project. Reach out to me via Discord DMs or in-game, and I'll see if I know anybody who you may be able to work with. Regardless of whether you're a solo player or already have a guild, Make sure that you have your World vs. World guild selection made before January 12th so that you can continue to play with whichever community you've selected. Or, if you want to have a bit of fun, leave the selection blank and see where the algorithm places you. And finally, ArenaNet has said that during the third and final week of the beta, players will be able to change their selected team, so if you'd like to play with more than one community during this beta, you'll be able to do so by changing your selection before the start of that third week. I think that's all I've got as far as need-to-know information about the restructuring system. My intent is that this video is evergreen, and it remains as a useful explainer of the restructuring system even after it goes live. As a result, I'll be maintaining a pinned comment on this video that consolidates some frequently asked questions about the system overall. So if you have any questions about it, or there's something that you want to add, check that resource first and let me know. As always, if you found this video useful, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I also stream on Twitch if you'd like to chat about any of these topics in real time and ask questions there. But until then, I've been Chef, and enjoy the rest of your day.